Hi guys, welcome to the let's play of Moon Path to Elsewhere, which is a great mod made for Skyrim. Not official DLC at all, but that's what it feels like. I've had a quick play of the early bits of it, and from what I've seen, it's great. So I thought I'd give the hike a little mini-series as he runs through it. The story of why he's here, because it's set in Elsewhere, the province of the Khajiit. The reason why he's here, of course, if you've seen the the preview teaser video, uh, he's basically slumped into a skooma-induced hallucinatory coma. <laughs> he got a bit lonely over at Volgheim Towers, went on a bit of a binge, and now he's hallucinating back to his homeland. So that's why he's here. As such, I've turned off Frostfall and Realistic Needs, because he doesn't need to worry about being warm or eating or anything in a dream. He won't be keeping any items or anything we get from this mod. Um, because it's a dream and because I'll probably, once I've done it, I'll uninstall it just because it makes some alterations um, that I can't get to work properly with a certain space in Skyrim, which is where you're meant to travel from. So basically, I've gone through that, got to the start of the actual questy bit, and now we're here. And my torch has run out. <laughs> Never mind. So that's why we're here. The only thing he basically gets from this is some experience then, and he does need to level up a bit. Because let's face it, without his followers, Bahaik here is a wimp. Can't so much as take an axe to a sabre cat, can he? He's useless, which is why he's had so many problems in Series 1. As such, I've turned the difficulty down a bit on this as well. Because uh, I don't think it use, uses leveled enemies. So he's probably five or. Well, he's probably about five levels too weak, but also because of the way I've chosen perks with him, he's about ten levels behind where he should be at this stage. I've also taken the opportunity to tweak his looks a little bit, and I've installed Cover Cats, which is a mod that replaces the texture for Khajiit. Um, because basically everyone in this mod is a Khajiit, so I thought it would be worthwhile doing that. And he looks a lot better now. And the one other rule, he's dreaming he can read books for this miniseries alone. Because he's in a dream and I think there are a few books dotted around that add a little bit, bit of lore which I'd like to have a look at. Because I think at the end of this I'll do a, a mod review for it as well. So without further ado, let's play. Welcome to Elsewhere! So night vision on. We are with some friends in the caravan we arrived on. And we've got some hyenas, I think these are, attacking us. Doing very well though. Come on then, puppies. You're my specialty. Sort of. And that's outnumbered. <laughs> Let's uh, not get too carried away, shall we? Stop hitting our horse thing. Hey. Hey there. Hello, beastie. No idea what you are. Think he likes me? Hiya, fella. <laughs> cool, I like him. Right then. Kurana. What's going on and why have we stopped? Our path is blocked. Perhaps someone should take a look. Would that be me? Yep. Tread softly, friend. These roads are filled with brigands. Our Thalmal overlords are more interested in heretics than bandits. Interesting, so the Thalmor are in control of... elsewhere. Why are you standing on the chair? Both. 
<laughs> I'm trying to do a running jump. It's not working. Okay. We'll leave him to it. Verena! Something down the path. Elisha Pantins, probably. Kajit is curious about your skills. Perhaps you can use the exercise, no? Verena likes a good show. Fair enough. A hike will give you a show. Oh, and here's the first of the... Well, I think there are several. I don't know. First book on the... Khajiit Moon Paths. Oh, lovely. These are the experiences of travelling among the Khajiit Moon Paths. Not many people are aware of the very precise patterns of Khajiit caravan movements, but to anyone who has travelled with them it becomes very obvious after a single moon cycle. The Khajiit revere the moon and aim to mimic its travels and phases across the sky in their caravan movements. To them this is a deeply spiritual experience. Simply packing up and leaving is never just decided on trade or urgency. A caravan has to wait for the correct phase of the moon. There are phases and times for moving on danger, bad trade, crime and many other reasons a group would feel compelled to leave. This is the main reason one finds Khajiit loitering about settlements even when they are no longer welcome. The moon paths themselves are very warm, travelled paths all across Tamriel, worn out by ages of Khajiit caravans. As the precise routes and entry points are a secret, every Khajiit travelling the paths has a duty to maintain them, and leave no trace of his or her person. It is speculated that even though many a traveller may cross a moon path, minor signs indicate it as a special only to a Khajiit. A twisted leaf, a hidden sign, or even a subtle scent mark marks it as a path of the Khajiit. Even though a moon path might not be the fastest route, its spiritual value empowers the caravan members to move at a more than steady pace. When asked, a caravan member explained to me, these are the paths our ancestors used before the coming of the Myrrh. They guide us and give us guidance to our destination. It is in this that the meaning of the moon becomes twofold, both the physical moon and the spirits of the elder Khajiit. Even though I travelled for many months on the moon path to Anvil, I was only ever able to find the entrance, but never able to maintain the path without a Khajiit guiding me, thus keeping them a mystery to anyone not invited to travel them, including myself. Might you find yourself on the moon path, I hope you would recall my observations and respect the origin and special nature of the path you are travelling. So there we are then. The hike having never had any sort of Khajiit culture imparted on him, apart from his catty instincts, of course. He hasn't really got a clue about the moons and the phases and things. But this whole experience is going to awaken that sort of side of him, I think. Right then. We've got some brigands on the road. And if there's one thing Bahike knows, it's brigands. Because he is one. <laughs> However, these are in the way. We've got a caravan, and for some reason it's got to keep going. And you know what dreams are like. Ooh, good shot. I think... Ooh, he hasn't seen me. Slightly worse shot. Even slightly more worse shot. Come on. Hey, there we are. Cool. How many arrows is it going to take? Let's go to beasts. <laughs> oh, I can't hit a thing. Okay. In my defence, I haven't used a bow and arrow in quite a while in Skyrim. <laughs> oh, this is getting... Sneak up. There we are, killed one. I think we're gonna have to edge closer. Oh, maybe not, maybe not. Hi there. <laughs> I can't hit from any range. There we are, there's one. Uh, Karan, I don't suppose you're gonna help, are you? Oi! My caravan. Ow! Oh, I've leveled up. 
You should definitely be dead. Yes. Whoa. Are you just gonna stand there? Uh, I didn't bring many potions with me either. What's he got? Gold, lovely. Mead, lovely. I'll obviously be taking things while I'm on this journey. So I'll need them later. Oh, I've got two of them. Right. Maybe they won't see me. Maybe they've already seen me. No! Leave them alone. Nice one. Right, let's get serious. <laughs> yeah! Nice. Oh, you're a big one. Okay. Are you just going to stand there? No, no he's not. Where are you going? It's a little camel. Where have you got? There you are. Hiding. Come on then. I've got a special big and take her out or her. Wee! Oh, I've missed this. <laughs> I missed. Uh, stamina. Need stamina. Come on then. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh. Oh. Okay. Not going well. I think he's stuck. You stuck, mate? Yeah, you are. Bad luck. <laughs> hey! That's all of them. Well, that went terribly. See what the light's like without night vision. It's quite atmospheric, actually. Obviously, it wasn't built taking into account the, the lighting mods and things. It's one thing I might check before the next episode, actually, whether the lighting mods have got extra options for the moon path, because it's fairly old. I think it's about a year old, this mod. I just got that, didn't I? Ooh, lovely. And it's one of those mods that made such a big impact that a lot of other mods have... Which one was saying? No, that's a normal Skyrim book. Yeah, a lot of other mods have taken it into account. Importance of where? No, those are normal books. We're only going to read the ones that are specific to the mod. Just to get a good feel. I'm also going to loot the hell out of everything. Ingredients! Lots of decent ingredients. So I'm going to need them. I've got about two health potions. Right then. There's one. Lovely. There's number two. Cool. And... Yeah, the rest is scattered around here, aren't they? Apple pie, lovely. I don't know why I picked that up, actually. I'm not eating it. <laughs> Just complete habit, isn't it? Another marauder. Yeah, the, the levelling on this is basically aimed at people... Oh, at you. No, you didn't. Awesome. It's aimed at people who have already completed the main quest, basically, so it's an end of game sort of deal. Anyway, you impressed, Verena? We ride to Denmer Forest, on the road to Shenshal. Into the forest we pass with Jakajai Pavar. We need Wild Moon to go there. Ah, okay. Denmar Forest. I remember a few of these locations. I don't know if you've played... The Elsewhere mod for Oblivion, the um, Deserts of Anaquina. 
was never finished, which was a shame because it was really were nicely done. Anyway, where's uh, Karana? What are you wandering over here for? I've killed the brigands. I was awesome. When Khajiit turns to Raniarch, he has no reason to be. The sand will bury their shame, and we shall move along. I can't help but feel he's judging my choices in life. I'll have you know, Karana, that banditry is a fine profession for a Khajiit. <laughs> right, so we need to take the cart, which will take us to our next journey. When the moon's right, apparently. But we've got a level up to take. And... Ooh, stamina health. I think I'm going to concentrate on health for now. And... Is this working? Oh, no. The height doesn't use magic, of course. Oh, I'm so used to the other character. And his use is at smithing. I want to start to be able to actually improve my gear. But I'm wearing... Um... Scaled armour. So it's going to be a while. I need three perks to get there. But I do take damage pretty easily, so I'm thinking maybe light armour. I'm already quite good at that. Flexibility. Armour cannot be ignored by melee weapon perks. It could be useful. Light armour weight reduced. Not so useful. That block looks quite low at the moment. Ooh! I always power bash. Let's do power bash. That'll help a lot, actually. Let's go with that. Right. Follow a level. Oh, right. Yeah, Miko's still following me. But I told him to wait, so he's not actually following me. But he's still an active follower. You know what I mean. Let's go. Tenmar Forest. Very dark still. That's why we've got Night Eye. Very nice. And this is the direction we came from, I guess, yes. I'll tell you what, the, it feels a bit like the new, the newest Tomb Raider. You know, where you sort of start at the start and then it's a fairly linear level, but with lots to do, or lots in between start and finish. It's a linear path, but... Ah, not getting it across here then, are we? Looks lovely though. What the hell? Interesting. Oh, fish! Fishy. And a spider. Right then. Piranha. Seems his bridge has collapsed. You are very useful, my friend. We will wait here and offer to little Thar. We will speak with the moons and the forests in Thar's sweet dreams. Uh, okay. You're a bit weird, mate. <laughs> but Hike's gonna kind of humour these people. He wants to impress them because he feels he's one of them. Verena, anything to add? So why have we stopped? We can go no further. The bridge has collapsed. The bridge has collapsed. The no longer maintain their mains, their pride, or the roads. How so? Tajit are servants to the Thalmor now. Verena can see brightly in the darkness, and it seems these servants have gone on strike. Interesting. Yeah, one of the common criticisms is about the voices. A lot of them are done very well, but... A lot of the actors have used different settings, so the tone's slightly different, the volume as well, she's quite quiet. A few of the voices are a bit... the actual accents are slightly dodgy, but for the most part they're quite nice. Right, so we've got to go paddling and find a way around. Look at this, you don't get water like this in Skyrim, that's for sure. In fact, I don't need my cloak, do I? Oh. oh, and um, that's when I did the FPS performance mod. If you remember from one of my Magrat videos, 
the water was slightly glitched and the fix I did for the water glitch hasn't affected elsewhere apparently. And yeah, there's a way of... Can we get a carriage across here? Maybe. Oh, hello beastie. Did you see me? No. Yeah, it's now. Whoa. Now I'm going to be cautious with these guys because... Where are you going? Oh god, there's more of them. There's lots of them, in fact. Right, let's try and single one out at least. Without getting shot at. Come here so I can bash you. Ugh, come here slightly slower. <laughs> Ooh. Oh god, look my stamina! I can't bash it, the stamina's gone. Right, all oh, poisoned. Right, okay. <laughs> it goes my potions then. What have I got? Frenzy. Hmm. I'm not doing any damage. Run. Regroup. Heal. Swim away. <laughs> Can they follow down there? I'm not sure. Is he going to sleep now? Oh, fishy. Get the fishy. When in doubt, get the... Where's he going? Beast. What are they? They're dinosaur things. Oh, fish, come here. Gotcha. The hell are they? When should I get this close? Well, they seem... Non hostile. Weird dinosaur thing. Okay. I feel like hunting for secrets. It's that sort of level design, isn't it? Very nice. Anyway, um, yeah, I've got a slight problem with an infestation, haven't I? Ha! One down. Whoa. How do you like that? Nice. Oh, I'm poisoned again. Oh, I killed it. Did I kill it? No, I didn't kill it. Oh dear. Okay. Health. I want to try and save some. Run, run. Oh, this is the adrenaline. Whoa. God, that poison is killer. Utterly reliant on having fatigue. Can't see much with this adrenaline. I'm not sure I like this adrenaline. It's part of um, Skyrim's combat system. Come on then. Get. Surely. Yes. Ooh. That was close. Okay. What are they? Jungle Queen hatchlings. Poison bite venom. Target's paralyzed. Ooh, I will be looting all of these guys because that's going to be extremely useful. There's the other corpses where I left them down here. But yeah, this this mod is going to be difficult, isn't it? What's that? Floating arrow, fine. Right, mission accomplished. Oh, 
Oh, I should point out as well, Verena's armor here is the is from a mod which replaces Thieves Guild armor, or the player's Thieves Guild armor anyway. Um, I forget what it's called, Triss armor, something like that. I think it's from. I think the Witcher. I've not played it, so I'm not entirely certain. This beast here, what is it? Imperials name it Therium. In their books, Therium. But Kajiti just call it Moon Cow. It is large <laughs> and slow, but a sweet Moon Cow. I like it. It's something like a horse. Not exactly. It is slow, but strong. When they run, no jungle, sand, wall, or army can stop them. Sounds very useful. They are also very useful against our rules. I can imagine. Yeah, her voice is, I think, great for a Kaji. It's just a bit quiet, isn't it? Anyway, Kurana. Mission accomplished. Oh, yes. No worries. Our moon cow is heavy. We feed them with no more droppings. <laughs> right. Where do we go next? The Palmar have invited you to their jungle. This the is rare, but it seems they have been expecting you. We will bring you there to meet them before the day breaks. Aha! Uh -huh. What about the Pama? Seems to say anything new. Pama! Go for that. Maïs, maïs. Our children born in the strong moon. Some live with us, but many hear the call of the wild. The sun is coming. Time to meet them. Here we are. I know a little bit of Khajiit lore and how the type of Khajiit you get is, depends on the phase of the moon when they're born. But Hike doesn't have a clue, however, so he's learning all about his ancestors. Which is quite useful for a schooner induced hallucination. <laughs> right, so that's the Ten Mile Forest. We're off to see the Palmar. And here we are. Hello? Big jungle. You don't get colour like this in Skyrim, that's for sure. Ooh, hello, buddy. Very nice. Let's just take night vision off again just to get a good feel of it. Yeah, with the fires and things. I think mostly that's due to the, the lighting mods I've got, but yeah, I I am liking the look of this place. I have to say, oh, they're leaving now. Oh yeah, Palmar Guard. Hello, you are the Palmar. Yes, we are. We are Khajiit, but our tribe never left our home. We've come to guard you, as we were ordered. By our pride leader, Deep Claw. Ah, fair enough. Big chest, it's empty. Let's have a look around, and where are you off to? I want to talk to you as well. Oh, I like this. I what this area is. There, Yura. Who are you, and what is this place? These are the waterways of Southern Elsewhere, silly. I'm Yura. I live here. We were expecting you, so you told me to come and welcome you. Okay, so I've got to go and find Amir. Again, this this voice is off, I think, as well as being quite quiet, but never mind. It's a mod, it's not a DLC. It's very easy to treat this like it's a DLC. That's how quality it seems to me. Where is Amir? The Palmer has given you this. The pride rack is your home in elsewhere. Deeper down you'll find a door to the waterways. Travel there to find Amir. The pride rock? Okay. And what are the Palmer? They are the brothers and sisters. There are many types of Khajiit. Although the Palmer look feral, they too follow the moon and their way. Fair enough. Goodbye, you. I'll be travelling back to Sky and soon. I won't. There is. So this is the Pride Rock, and this acts as a sort of player home, purely for me, apparently. It's definitely got that sort of otherworldly feel. It does feel like a dream. 
which is apt because for the height it is. Hi right there. Let's have a quick look around. This is my player home for the level then. Sort of a hub world and then we can go to the main part of elsewhere through here. We've got mannequins, chests, weapon racks, forge, lovely. More moon cows. I've got a boat. Ooh, got a friend. Need something. Kawel the Wanderer. Hi there. This one needs something. Ah, oh, he's a merchant. Swift hunting. Fair enough. And moon sugar, of course. Display case. This is impressive. I like this. Look at this. A player home that's technically outside. So, missing the stairs. Oh, bit of a glitch there, I think. Floating schooler. <laughs> well, what's up here? Boom! Alchemy lab, enchanting. Very nice. In the bed. Master chest. Okay. Wow. Got to be said, I'm impressed. Let's have a look without the night time and get some good atmosphere. Whoa. Ooh, yeah, I'm going to be looting this place. Lots of stuff, because I need potions more than anything else at the moment. Yeah, it's got to be said I'm impressed. So I'm going to look around this place, get a good feel of it, make some more potions, do a bit of crafting. And then, next episode, we can move into the main quest a bit more. And I'll give you a proper tour of this place as well. So far, very impressive.